Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, I'm just going to be giving a full island tour of what I have on my island so far. And the reason I'm in F5 mode is because there's some cool little secrets, some secret builds in front of me that I don't want to just give you the instant gratification of seeing right away. So I'm recording this right after my Vote Party Crate uh, opening, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's probably uploaded by now. Um, and I'm going to turn around like this. Eh, I'll, I'll just give you guys a little bit of a sneak preview of what we're going to be looking at here. So the first and foremost, I just want to show off. This is like the house where I store all of my items. Um, I do have fly right now, so I'm just going to give a full scale view of the house that we're living in with me and my island mates. I might uh, as well give a disclaimer right away. None of these builds are my own original builds. Uh, like the buildings here. The sugarcane farms are mine, uh, but these aren't my own original builds. I got them from a tutorial by a certain YouTuber, which I'll link in the description because I can't recall his name right now. Uh, but he does a bunch of Japanese style builds, which I find really beautiful, and those are the things I've been using on my island. Uh, so I might as well just disclaim that right away that none of these are originally mine, uh, but I did use his tutorial to build these awesome things. So, right off the bat, you guys notice the villagers, they just have kind of useful enchantment trades. Uh, the most useful one, I'm not going to show all of them, but the most useful one I think is Mending right here. Uh, it's only 20 emeralds in a book and Mending is useful on basically all your tools. Um, not much to see here besides my chests. We haven't made any upper floors beyond uh, this one. Everything up there is just empty space. I'm not going to go through my chests, but that's the first building. And uh, Everywhere where you see that our emeralds is just empty space, so I'm just going to go with the buildings that I actually have so far. We have a nice little bridge walkway here. And uh, even this Zen Garden was made by the YouTuber that I'm putting in the description. It's really nice looking, um, and I just really enjoy it as sort of a centerpiece in the island. A uh, little Easter egg here, which we have my island mates put in. It just pushes up a sea lantern, that's basically it. Um, next, we'll take a look at the shrine. I'm just going to back up a little bit. has a really nice exterior all the way around. Uh, some nice flowers. And the back's the same. And speed this up a bit. The side's also the same. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. Uh, this is, as you can tell, a Japanese-themed island. Because, as I said, the builds are really nice. Uh, just some anvils sort of acting like uh, like statues or something. Nice little walkway here. Uh, this is the like the shrine that you're supposed to pray at, but it's just for aesthetics. Nothing uh, of actual use to do in here. It just looks nice. And we make our way on out to the next building right here. This is just the house. Um, funnily enough, we're living in that, and that's not a house. This is the house, but it's just too small to live in. So we have a nice little cobblestone wall. Uh, kind of weird looking here because the ser I don't know why the server does this because in normal Minecraft and single player it doesn't make the walls all attached like this uh, it is what it is though so let's make our way on inside have a nice little table with uh, I guess a furnace and a cauldron here if I can get over this table have some bookshelves on the side some nice flower pots this I don't know if this is supposed to be like a couch or something but it's a bed with signs on the side so it looks like a couch and let's go up to the second floor Nice little desk. Uh, I guess this is where I'm supposed to write the scripts for my videos. And a nice little bedroom. These chests are openable because they are on stairs, I think. Either stairs or slabs, but the slabs are stacked in two, maybe. Either way, uh, nice little cozy attic bedroom. And that's all for this house. So how about we swing on by to the old ramen shop over here. We have a nice little banner, a nice little rice bowl with some chopsticks. Uh, this pig's not supposed to be here, but it is what it is. Uh, this is the ramen shop. I don't remember if this was made by the same guy, but either way... Oh, why are there mushrooms here? That's not supposed to be here. Let's destroy those and put them in my inventory. Uh, so yeah, this is the counter. Uh, the door where the chef exits and enters. Just some logs for burning some cool foods to serve block that off and up here isn't part of the original build but this is i guess the place where the owner of the shop is supposed to live have a nice bed some chests music disc 
that's all and a jukebox so let's close that out oh I forgot to give a uh, an aerial view of the uh, of the shop itself so this is what it looks like on the side just over this tree this is how it looks all around I we have, have a nice little chimney too with uh, some smoke on it looks nice um, and now actually time for the most exciting build let me just put this in my inventory uh, the most exciting build um, made by a different youtuber actually I'll also have to try to find them and link them in the description as well um, this is a Japanese style inn, has three floors, and let me just give uh, an aerial view of the entire inn. I'm gonna go all the way around. It looks really nice. Like, this took a while to build even while following the tutorial. I'm not gonna give a view of that side, um, just cause there's a little surprise over there that I don't wanna show off right away. So let's head on inside. We have some nice flowers on the on the left and right. So let's start over here. This is, uh supposed to be a little gift shop or what have you you can you can't really buy anything here just for aesthetics but uh it's supposed to be a little shop this is supposed to be the uh, check-in desk I don't know if this is supposed to be a pen or a, maybe like a bell a service desk or whatever but either way it's fun to play with um can't actually go in there right now I would like to show you so let me just destroy the slab so I can get on through uh, just some decorations in back here, I guess, is the staff area. Uh, nothing too special, but figured I might as well show that. And place that back. Uh, the, the entrance is kind of just normal. Uh, this is, I guess, a waiting area. And this is supposed to be vending machines. I guess we could have made it look a little better, but this is we just followed the tutorial. This is what they did. And I'll actually come back to this area right here, because save the best for last let's head on upstairs and show off the second floor so this is just a common area with a couch and a little coffee table uh, all these single door rooms are the same so I'll just show off one this is just the one of the rooms uh, a little bit of frame lag this is just one of the rooms it's a really nice Japanese style room uh, it looks really nice the banners were a pain to make to be honest because uh, it's not like I have creative mode on here but uh that's a glimpse of that room again all the single rooms uh, single door rooms are the same so I'm not going to show all of them off however I will show off the double door room which is a little different so we have the same sort of interior on this side but we have an extension which uh, is just enlarging the room and a little little like floor uh, floor futons there so that's the second floor uh, now let's go back on to the third floor. It's the basically the exact same single rooms. All of them are the same, and common area is a little different. Again, this one's the same, and actually the double door room is the same as the one prior. So nothing new on the third floor. Just for completeness, I decided to show you. And let's head on to the little surprise we have down here. Uh, so this is the mail change room for what you'll see in a second. Uh, so yeah, this is the mail change room. Nothing special. The female change room is the same but mirrored. So yeah, that's that. This is a nice little pathway to what I will call the hot springs. So this is just like the shower area, but this is the hot springs itself. It's really nice looking, and I really enjoy... Uh, the nice scenic view around here if you just want to chill in here let me set it to nighttime ooh nice nighttime hot springs visit guys the sea lanterns make it look really nice on the outside too uh, and of course we have this little waterfall cause why not so that is all the buildings that I can show off on my island um, we do have another area over here which I'm gonna show you uh, it, it, this is the end of all the cool builds we have. The rest of the stuff is sort of just profit shop and auto farm stuff. But I figure I might as well show you uh, all the stuff I have here. We do have a nice little park, uh, I guess I would call it. I don't really know what to call it, to, uh, call it besides it's like a park or a pathway of sorts. This is just where we have all of our auto farms uh, for sugarcane. Going all the way down into our profit shop. 
And if I do is warp and then my username, this is our profit shop. And uh, oh, we have someone using it right now, actually. Um, so we just sell sugar cane here. If you don't know how profit shops work, hopefully I can show you. You just buy it. It says bought for 7400 and then if I sell all of it, I get more money than I bought it for. So that's why it's called the profit shop, because you just click, buy it, and then sell it for easy money. Um, so this is the left side. This front side here isn't fully complete yet. Uh, there is only one farm in comparison to the five on either side of me. So there's one on this side, five on that side, and five on that side. So this side doesn't quite fill up that fast. Um, but anyways, on to this little room over here. Let's just read the sign. This way for mob spawner, villager trading, and enchanted books. So I wish I could show off how this works. Uh, that might be for another video, actually. Um, it's just that right now, it, uh, like, the sugar cane in here is supposed to go into the chest, but for some reason, it's not doing that right now, and I can't open it because my island mate made the, uh, made the chest here, so I don't have permission to open it, only he can fix it when he comes on. So, for now, I can't show you how it works, because if I try to buy it, just nothing happens. Um, here we just have a mob farm. It's pretty standard. There's about 10 zombie spawners in there or so, if I can get a good view. And uh, all the rotten flesh and all the drops go into here. And if you're wondering what you can use the rotten flesh for, if I just go ahead and buy... Oh, looks like there's nothing in there. Take some from here. If I go ahead and... and suppose I buy some. Uh, I can go in the villager trading room. It says, if rotten flesh is unavailable, then do one of the other trades. So, if you can't already tell, these villagers trade the rotten flesh for emeralds, and emeralds are basically the most valuable thing in the server. Uh, and this is completely free besides buying the rotten flesh itself, which is only a dollar a piece, which is the absolute cheapest you can sell it for, I believe, besides free. Um, but yeah, you just trade it with the villagers and say one of their trades are not working, like the rotten flesh one. Just like, I don't know, buy some redstone, wait five seconds, hopefully he refreshes. Yep, he's refreshing, and now his Rotten Flesh trade is available again. So, it's a really easy way to get emeralds, and I figured that you might as well just open this up to everyone who's using the Profit Shop, because why not? Um, but yep, yeah, guys, that's basically it for my island. Um, all the other area surrounding it is just open emeralds, so that's not worth showing off. But everything you see here uh, is what I've been working on on the server for the past while, uh, and it's been really fun. So I hope you enjoyed my island tour. Uh, when I get something new on my island, I'll probably up update you guys on the new builds I do or the new things I get. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.